The Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History and Sea Center serve over 20,000 school children a year with educational programs for kindergarten through the sixth grade. Are you guys ready to have fun? Yeah! That was pathetic. Try it again. Are you ready to have fun? Yeah! The experiences the students have with us ignite a curiosity about science and the natural world. I can see its eyes. I can see its eyes and its mouth. This one is a circus beetle. Let's go to the other side. So what we're going to do today is we're going to explore the oak woodland, we're going to explore consumers, and we're going to explore decomposers. The consumers like to eat stuff, I think that they're surprised at how many different kinds of bugs are out there and the fact that they're all around them. A lot of times they tend to notice big showy ones like butterflies or ladybugs that really stand out, but once they get their hands down in the dirt and they start searching around, it blows their mind how many different kinds of animals actually live around us. I discovered a centipede in a melon. Yeah. It's ticklish. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. This is a baby beetle. A lot of kids spend a lot of times indoors. We have technology that seems to distract them. And there's something that happens to them when they get outside. They'll be even kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this. But once they get out there and we start exploring around and getting our hands dirty, they light up. And by the end of the program, most of them are like, I don't want to go yet. The indoor and outdoor learning opportunities we provide at both of our campuses put them face to face with actual scientists. Whoa. Our collections are, you know, not off in some vault somewhere. They're right here on campus. So what comes after the caterpillar stage? Chrysalis. Chrysalis. Very good. How do you know the difference between a butterfly and a moth? Like why do why do the like the moths have like these things on it? Antennae? Yeah, antennae. That, that pair of things coming out the front? Yeah. So all insects have antennae, and antennae are mostly used to sense their surroundings. Probably my favorite memory is a small girl that came, and once I showed her that we have lots of different species of beetles here, she insisted that she see every single species. So she basically took me by the hand and said, okay, this one. Uh, what is this? Uh, this one. What is this? What does it do? What's its name? And so yeah, that was really charming. Uh, that was a girl that was kind of after my own heart. From microscope to telescope, we give students a sense of their place in the universe. This is called an observatory. It's a building that where we have instruments that help us observe, look at things in space. We provide the kids with an experience that I truly believe is very unique. The fact that they can go to the planetarium, learn a lot, and get a close-up view of the objects in the sky, and then they come here to the observatory and take a look at the real thing. Look at the sand! Look at the size of the sand! Oh, no. Look at the size of the sand! The combination of these two venues is something that I think very few museums can offer. Not all of them can take them to a plant term and then complement that activity with an observatory like this. All right, ready? Go! When school is not in session, the museum offers Santa Barbara's most sought after educational camps for kids age 4 to 14. In both our school programs and our camps, students conduct actual scientific experiments and learn directly from their own results. My name is Mr. Steve, and this is my classroom. What is a watershed? A watershed is when water runs down from the mountains and through lakes and through our cities into the ocean. Excellent. Yes, she says that the watershed. At the museum, our students literally immerse themselves in the watershed of Mission Creek. And then at the Sea Center, they test the quality of that same water as it empties into the Santa Barbara Channel. We're going to be testing turbidity, which tests how clear the water is. Students learn the direct connection between water quality and the health of the East Beach ecosystem. We're going to test it to see if it's safe enough for the steelhead trout. My name's Lori Lee Collins. I've been teaching for about 15 years now. You can't beat experiential learning, and so that's what the, uh, the Sea Center and the Natural History Museum provide for kids in the community. I think that coming here um, 
as a young girl definitely contributed to me wanting to study paleontology in college. Just getting exposed to all of these different animals, both past and present, really sparked my interest and made me want to learn more about it. I study a period of time called the Mesozoic, and in that time period, the Earth was more of kind of a hothouse environment with more carbon dioxide and just generally a warmer place. And we could be headed towards a similar kind of environment in the future. And so it's definitely important to learn about these animals and learn about how they were responding to their environment and adapting in order for us to better understand what's going to be happening presently today on Earth. The Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History and Sea Center partner with parents and educators in raising the next generation of scientists, naturalists, and environmental stewards. What we do here has the power to impact the direction of a young person's life, one curious child at a time, powered by science, inspired by nature. I'm definitely going to work here. Okay, come on in.